Today I'm gonna to be creating one of the biggest rope swings I've ever created in my life, and it's gonna be able to span from 10 feet all the way to 60 feet up in the air. We're gonna be using three electrical poles and a scaffolding tower to be jumping off of to make this rope swing possible. So basically, we're gonna have a winch here that pulls this part down, which therefore makes the rope swing higher. So when it goes higher, it gets scary. I need my hands. He's gonna go in and make it deeper. Wow. I get it in. To be the first moment in history of man of a guy being excited about electrical poles. Oh, shit. No way! Oh my god, those are perfect! You can't just get 40 foot tall poles that easily anymore, so that's what's so cool about these. So these are our holes. Get in there, I dare you. And then you're gonna have the main square here. here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's gonna yeah, be like, it's gonna be. <laughs> it's gonna be like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> If you're not subscribed to see the crazy projects oh, that Corey's gonna, oh my god, oh, going awesome. in the hole. We need to get concrete right now. Is yeah. going now. We need to get the concrete. Okay, wait, wait, how are we gonna mix? Yeah. I was not expecting this to come together like this. I mean, you literally have to go like this to so see the whole. I feel like building this rope swing is gonna be like the pinnacle of Rush Park. So we had to hire out a builder to make sure it was done correctly and they quit. We don't know why, so it's like we've done everything else on our YouTube channel. I'm gonna build it. Like one on it. To hold up a 1,500 pound electrical pole, we need to build a hinge. So we hired our new friend and genius builder, Weston, to design it. So we got Weston out here. He's uh, basically the guy we hired for creating the hinge of it. And he's like, I want to put it together because if I'm making something for you like this, then I want to put it together so I know what I'm creating is safe or it's not going to break on you. This is what he's done so far. He's basically pulled the whole pole up, has an entire pulley system up there. Oh my God, look, the concrete. It's like cracking and it came out of the ground. Have you made that hinge? I want to see the hinge. Holy f this is it? Holy sh this is what we created for the bottom part of the hinge. Oh my god. Overall, this entire pole, what does it weigh? Like a thousand pounds? Yeah, probably like 1,500. So this is like a smart car he's lifting up right now. And this smart car is gonna go all the way up there. Weston's like literally putting everything together. This is what we are gonna use. Look how tiny that little guy is. And then I didn't even see this, but on this like little tag, it's like 300 LB max. And I was like, oh, I didn't see that. It's probably written on it, but I didn't look at it. Bro, this thing's getting so high now. Weston actually called me and he's like, all right, I think this is a good spot. And I looked at it and I was like, it's just not tall enough. It needs to go up a little bit taller. Oh my God. Hopefully no one gets hurt on it because then I have myself on video, take it out. All right, size comparison. That's how tall it is. I'm right under it right now. That's like 14, 15 feet. From that point where, where it's at is when where you'll take off from the rope and you get to come here and do it too. Get anything from Rush.com or No No Limits. I have a sale going on right now. So you're able to go and get any Rush Park brand and get your chance to possibly come out and even try this yourself. So I'm thinking we just try to go up into that tree area. See where the branches spread apart? We can build into that open area. So what I'm installing now, this is the winch. This is what will uh, move the entire pole up and down. So it's actually able to pivot to like lower or higher. Drill two holes, put the top plate on, send all thread through it, tighten it all down. Put some cables up and watch somebody fly. I just need to figure out this, these electrical connections then to make this work. Cause honestly, I have no idea how this all works. Read the instructions. Oh fuck. We literally stayed up all night. We did so many calculations. When you guys see this in the morning, it's gonna be crazy so basically right now we've we've attached one that goes down this way and then we have obviously the winch that moves it 
but we also created two extra lines, one that goes to a tree way over there, and then one that goes to a, that big tree right there that, that holds it from shaking left to right, that would wiggle this whole thing loose because obviously this is poorly made. I think they could have been pay made a lot better, but that's kind of what we've done so far. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna save the jump for the moment. This is so sick. Not only three months ago was this like an imagination. Was this even something that could come to fruition? I drew this up on plans. I created the entire property here of what it would turn into and bam, we built it and made it come to life right here in front of our eyes and now we're about to use it. That's amazing. That's Rush so, Park. Now we're about to do it and we have so many more plans of things to build like this and do this. Right now we have it set to like level one. This winch won't move up or down until we get a battery that connects to these. And uh, Chase is leaving right now to go get the battery. So we're stuck on this level. I'm testing it and I can move it just by doing this. Be ready for the whole thing to snap and then you hit the ground just in case, you know? I was about to jump and then you said this thing could snap. Most likely everything's gonna be fine because there's so many cables holding it in every direction and really the wood isn't doing anything, but the wood could snap. We're going. I've been on a jet, not yet, but that's where I want to oh get. Put it on my blood and on my chest and on my sweat. I might come and go show you see a silhouette. Chilling in the web, yeah, I'm bigging on my chest. Getting rich is like I'm digging up a chest. Man, I swear I'm up next. The spotlight, that's all my. So now, what we're doing is we're basically going to make the jumping point higher. This is sketchy because. What's underneath us is ground and not water. Don't do this at home. Not gonna lie, it's really scary from this height. I even know what I'm doing and this is sketchy. Three, two, one. Corey, these things are so much riskier now because I got kids and my wife, they need me. I don't like this, Corey. I'm not, I'm like second guessing this really hard. You got it, literally, you're fine. I know, I'm just second guessing it super hard right now. All right, baby. This is why we built Rush Park, guys. This it broke! I told you! I was right! My instinct was right! You said the rope was good and thought I broke it! What the <laughs> what we have to do now? Now we have to let it down and put another rope on. This is perfect for the video. It's so funny. You need to jump normal, and then right when it comes up, you bring your you bring your legs up. Oh, Man. you're short, so your body weight's easier to pick up. Maybe I'm just stronger than you. I don't know. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Then get stronger. You're a little like look how light you are. I can literally Ow. just throw you in the water. <laughs> Chase got back with the battery. We got the car battery. So you can see this fat guy is gonna be able to make this entire thing move. We've got a hopefully a trusty rope swing. We're gonna be able to start moving it and get it higher, but we need to lower it down to put a new rope on it and uh, to make this thing safer. The whole thing is coming down now. See it? So, yeah, that rope is getting taller. It's now, uh, I would say 10 feet higher. Holy crap. I will not be doing this. I'm sure you guys know why. Now we've got the rope swing halfway high. We've got one more level to go, and we got to build the scaffolding two times higher. Three, two, one. Balls are inside of my body. This entire area is gonna be water when we make the treehouse. I'm gonna climb up there and show you how tall it is. Wow. How are you feeling right now? Just trusting the mule tape. All right, three, two, one. Oh my god, that hurts so fucking bad. I was in the air, I was like, I'm good, but where the fuck is the water? Did I land right on my face? 
Oh my God, Bradley. <laughs> so as we raise the winch up, this entire thing is gonna lift up. We're gonna raise it as high as it could go. You see the whole thing raising? Yeah. Between the concrete and the dirt right here, you can see that it's shifted and it's already rained. So that should have been washed away. You shouldn't even see that crack. So, you know, slightly concerned. But otherwise we're still going for it. Okay, those are 40 foot telephone poles. We are level with 40 foot electrical poles. Bro! What the f Don't do this at home. I shouldn't be doing this. If I had to land on the water wrong, it would bruise me or like completely like shatter something. All right, ready? Oh, f bro. Oh my God. Okay, ready? Oh. Okay, ready? Go for Three, it. two, one. Oh, fuck.